Alright, so let's go ahead and actually discuss the Tetris game here in Computer Programming 12B. So, alam naman natin lahat, no? Na ang Tetris dito, this is actually one of the most famous games. It's the number one popular games as well na rin na pwede nating laruin out there. Imposibleng wala sa atin na nakapaglaro na ito. Diba? Uh, the original game was actually designed and programmed by a Russian programmer, Alexei... I don't know how to pronounce this one, Pahetnov in 1985. That's why if naku natatandaan yung Tetris theme, it really has a Russian theme behind it, diba? And since then, Tetris is actually available on almost every computer platforms in lots, in lots of different variations. Even mobile phone has a modified version of the Tetris game. Uh, ako personally, up, up to this point... I still play Tetris in Nintendo Switch, yung Tetris 99, where I actually battle, you know, 98 other players all around the world, which is really fun. Yan sa Nintendo Switch. Yan, so talaga napaka, ano niya, napaka-famous niya, kasi until now, nilalaro pa rin yung karamihan. Uh, the, this Tetris game is actually very complicated to build in Java, pero I will be discussing the, the easiest way on how to develop that. The Tetris is actually called a falling block puzzle game. And in this game, we have seven different shapes called tetrominoes. Tetrominoes tong mga tos, the S shape, the Z shape, the T shape, L shape, yan yung line shape, mirror L shape, and a square. Now, each of these shapes is actually formed with four different squares. Okay? Yan, one, two, three, four. The shapes are falling down the board. The object of the Tetris game, or objective of the Tetris game is to move and rotate the shapes so that they fit as much as possible. If we manage to form a row just below the frame itself, the row is now destroyed and we will be having a score. So we, we, we play the Tetris game until we top out. Diba? Now, for the development of this one, uh, hindi tayo totally gagamit ng image but then I would like to at least create the following tetrominoes here individually using the Swing Painting API. Na-discuss na rin naman natin kung paano gumawa ng mga shapes, diba? So, itong mga very basic shapes na to. Like, I mean, square lang yan. Draw rec and fill rec lang yan later on. So, i gagawin natin to isa-isa. Okay? Now, we will be using the java.util.timer to create a game cycle. And the shapes move on a square by square basis, not pixel by pixel. So, mathematically, the board in the game is a simple list of numbers. The game starts immediately after it is launched. We can pause the game by pressing the P key. Yeah, the space key will drop the Tetris piece immediately to the bottom. The D key will, dri will drop the piece one line down. Yeah, it can actually be used to speed up the falling in a bit. And the game goes at a constant speed. No acceleration is implemented yet. Yeah, the score is the number of lines that we have removed. So, I want you guys to at least create three different Java files here. The Tetris.java, Shape.java, and Board.java. Okay? So, prepare na natin yung mga yan para mas madalian na tayong makapag-work sa ating Tetris game na to. Now, uh, the Shape class here, gawin natin tong si Shape class na to. I have created here a Java package named Tetris Game. So, since nilagay ko yan dyan, I'll name that as Tetris Game. Tapos, Public Class Shape. And, uh, make sure po na nasasabayan nyo ako ha para hindi kayo nahihirapan para at least kahit pa paano naiintindihan nyo yung concepts na, na binabanggit natin dito now for the Tetris game or the shape.java we also have to import here a util that random that will simply random the generate spawn I mean random spawn of each of the tetrominoes available here okay next Na, nawala naman yung import natin. <laughs> import java.util.random Ayan. So, as you can see here, we have a an enum, tetromino. Then, the tetromino enum holds seven tetra shapes and names. I mean, tetra shapes name and the empty shape called no shape. So, gagawin natin yan inside here, the public class shape natin. So, let's actually create here. Ayan. Kumbaga, para alam lang ni program natin na we are actually trying to create a different sets or different set of tetromino. Tetro... Ano yung spelling ko? Yan. Tetromino. 
and let's name that as no shape yan z shape s shape importante po ito ha dapat kung ano yung pagkakasulat nyo dito same lang din sa pag pagtawag natin sa kanila later on okay square shape l shape and mirrored l shape tama ba so no shape z shape s shape line shape t shape square shape l shape uh, mirrored l shape okay now uh the chords itong lalagyan natin dito na chords uh, based on what you are seeing here on in the module it actually an ar it's an array that will hold the actual coordinates of a tetris the tetris piece so let's declare here a val variable the chomino tatawagin natin to and we will call that as tetris shape okay so piece piece shape ayan so meron tayo dito ng piece shape Tapos, we have here a 2 to the array. Kasi siya yung mag-hold ng address nung shapes natin. Chords. Alright. Then, let's create the constructor. We have here the public shape. Ayan. <clears throat> so, inside the chords, I'll simply put an initial value of this one as you know, size lang nung array natin na 4 by 2. So, ibig sabihin, kung ititignan natin maigi ang 4 by 2, magiging magiging ganyan ang itsura. 4 by 2. Ayan. So, kung napansin nyo, this can serve as any shapes. ba? So, pwedeng maging L shape. Pwedeng maging square shape pag tinanggal mo tong dalawang to. ba? Pwede ring maging Z shape. ba? And so on. So, kaya yan tinamag na 4 by 2 lang. And we will be calling later on the set shape method. In which, si set shape naman, tatawagin natin later on si no shape. Mamaya, mamaya natin i-work out yan. Okay. Now, this is actually the part where, eto, ito nakikita nyo dito ang arrays. Now, this coords table, it actually holds all possible coordinate values of the Tetris pieces. This is a template from which all pieces take their coordinate value. So, I want you guys to at least copy and paste this part of the code, itong, itong mga addresses na to. But, if you, are, if you really want to play around with this one, you can actually go ahead and do so. So, basically, sila po yung mga address ng shapes natin. So, shape, tetromino, I'll name that as shape. And since it's to the array, we have here coords table equals new int. Ayan. So, i-copy-paste nyo lang ito, no? Para hindi na kayo mahirapan. 0, 0 at, at the start. 0, 0, 0, 0, okay. 0, 0. E, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So, we have the template here. Now, um... Based on what you are seeing here, we have a for loop. Okay, system.array copy. Coords table. Tiyatawag natin si coords table here. Yan. In which also called the ordinal. Yan. Together with their corresponding parameters. We put one row of the coordinate values from the coords table into coords array of a Tetris. Yan. So, nakikita nyo dito, no? we have here 0, 0. So, simply means 0, 0. Pagka 0, 1, nandito na. Pagka 1, 0, nandito na siya. Yan. <clears throat> Note that the usage of the ordinal method in C++ and enum type is essentially an integer. So, unlike in C++, by the way, si Java kasi, Java enums are full classes and the ordinal method returns the current position of the enum type in the enum object. So, ito yun. Ito yung part na kumbaga, kung saan ilalagay na natin lahat. Based from the coordinate table here, we have an int i, a for loop, and I plus plus. So, meron tayong I plus plus. We have a for loop. Para mas madali. Uh, but, by the way, this should be inside this. Ito. Nandito dapat yun sa loob. Yan. Para, para ano. Para okay na okay, no. 
na sobrahan natin ng ayan so far so good we have an for loop and we have the system that copy di ba system that array copy and in which si chords table siya ngayon yung gagawa yan shape that ordinal tapos zero lagay natin si chords zero and four take note hindi tayo na gum gumamit ng image for this one we actually have created all of the coordinates ni tetromino natin individually one by one natin siya ginawa so for piece or per piece yan si p shape natin ngayon atong si tetromino na to ilalagay natin lahat ng pangalan niya so we will actually assign the no shape as 00, zero the z shape as yan the value of shape here which is the coords table so we have the shape so yung pangalan niyan so basically lahat ng piece shape yeah will now be stored in the tetromino enum or this is actually a variable an enum piece shape shape so ganun siya no ngayon let's actually work on with the data fields naman ni ni shape that java natin so far we don't have any errors no so at least mas madali siyang mag mas madali natin siyang mapagana okay so gawin natin si private void set x we have here the index we have here the x so lahat na lang ano to no lahat na ng fields natin so see si chords natin we have here the basic index si array Yan, si initial values niya. Private void set y. Ganun din. Int index. Yung address lang to, no? Yung sinaset lang natin yung addressing nito. Index. Tapos this time, y. Next, we have here the int x. Int index. Yung return natin, the getters, pero hindi lang ako naglagay ng word ng get. Diba? Return, coors, index. Okay. What else? Si y naman. Int, index. Return, coords. Index. Tapos, 1 naman ito. Let's also call the tetromino. Yan. So, I hope nakakasunod kayo, no? Kasi, again, this will actually serve as your final task, yung modification ng program natin. So, I want you guys to at least be very mindful kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng mga methods na pinagsusulat natin. Kasi, the more you listen, the more you can actually understand and modify the the program itself. Mukha lang siyang, mukha lang siya talagang uh, complicated, but then in, in reality, it's very easy to understand for as long as you know how to modify the code here. So we have the tetromino get shape. Kinuha lang natin si get shape niya. Uh, let's now create here a void set random shape. Ito yung kubaga. Ito yung method kung saan mag-generate siya ng random shape. So from based from the tetromino set, gawa tayo dito ng random. Gamitin natin si util.random. Yan. Let's generate here an absolute value. Mat.abs or that next int. Ibig sabihin, uh, kaya niya mag-generate po ng modulo 7. Since 7 yung shapes. Yan. Nang napaka-random. Including no shapes. Yan. Na value. Ngayon. So, so far so good. Tawagin natin si Tetromino. Let's put it in, 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 in an array. Values is equal to tetromino that values. So this is, a, again, this is the part where we will generate a random shapes. Next is for us to create here a minimum x. And the, the minimum x naman, this will simply and generate chords. 0, 0, 
Tapos, for loop, yung minimum exposition ni shape ngayon. Okay? Kapag ka nag-generate na siya ng shape, ilalagay mo kung ano yung next position niya. Initially, minimum. Uh, I is less than 4. Tapos, I plus plus. Okay, great. So, let's put that in an M. Kunin natin si minimum. Minimum M chords I zero. Tapos, let's return the value of M. So, ganun din kay Y. Si Y naman, this time, yung position ngayon, minimum ngayon ni Y. Okay. So, public int minimum Y. So, we have here int M equals this time coords pero zero and one na siya. Okay. So, for loop, we have here int I is equal to zero yung less than 4 which is actually the maximum kasi saan natin nakukuha yung 4 ito yon maximum address tapos i plus plus we have here m is equal to mat that minimum m cohorts and 0 1 pala i mean so let's return m once again now, this part here, the ito nakikita nyo yung rotate left na to, this, act, this code here can simply rotate a piece to the left. This one. Okay? The square doesn't have to be rotated. And that's why we simply return the reference to the current object. Looking at the previous image will help to understand the rotation. Ito. So basically, kapag ka nirotate mo si, si straight, yan. So from, for example, from negative 1 yan, I mean from dito, negative 1, Pupunta at pupunta yan dito, mag-rotate siya na mag-rotate dito. So, kaya tayo gumawa ng, ng, ng minimum X and minimum Y para na rin sa positioning ni Tetromino once it actually, you know, uh, rotated. So, gawin natin yan dito sa may program natin. We have shape, rotate left. Ba? Shape, rotate left. Uh, shape, rotate left. Copy lang natin yung code natin. For as long as the P-shape is equal to the tetromino dot square shape. Ayan. Kasi hindi naman talaga naiikot si square, di ba? Let's return nothing. However, if the shape here, ayan, if tawagin natin si shape, let's put that into result. Ayan, equals new shape. Result dot P-shape. Kung ano yung lumabas man na, na result dito sa get shape natin. Ayan. Pwede na natin siyang i-rotate. So, rotate natin. Pero bakit tayo may error dito? Napapraning ako pag may gantong error ako nakikita eh. Ah, okay. Sige, wala pa pala kasi yung return natin. Ayan. So, we have here a for loop that will simply rotate the entire position of our tetrominos. We have less than 4, i++, plus plus, and isi-check niya isa-isa. Ayan. Set niya ngayon yung initial position ni ni y and set y. And this time, magiging negative siya based from the from this one. Nag-rotate siya pa ulit-ulit. So, I, negative X, I. Okay. And lastly, we will be returning whatever the result is. Same goes through with the way on how you return, re you rotate the tetrominos to right. Ito kasi, uh, ang nirotate natin dito is actually the negative X, di ba? So, yung rotate left, we have a different scenario with that one. Rotate, oops, shape, rotate, Right. Okay. So once again, we can just simply copy copy and paste everything here. Pero this time, ang babaguhin natin is ito, yung pag-rotate na ito. Yung Y naman ang magna-negative. 
and si x is still positive. Tama, no? So, kapag ka nag-rotate yung shape natin into right, okay, yung, yung x niya is still positive, pero yung y niya, pababa. So, nag-negative siya. Pag left, x ang nag-negative, y ang nagpa-positive. So, tama. And, and so far, so good. We don't have any errors. Uh, I think meron. Dito. So, we have the tetromino shape. Tama naman, no? the, the name itself. Okay. So, everything is actually perfect. Uh, I mean, working perfectly fine. So, I hope nakapi natin to ng maayos, no? Prepare lang natin. Prepare lang natin talaga si, si shape na yun. Now, let's try to create here the main method, the Tetris at Java. Try na natin siyang paganahin para hindi na tayo mahirapan uh, na i-testing yung code natin. Okay? So, kindly tell me if may part kayo na gusto nyong makita or hindi nyo makita kanina. You, we can just go ahead and zoom in that part para masabayan nyo na ng maayos. So, now, let's go ahead and create the main method. Okay, so, package Tetris game. Tama, no? Public class Tetris extends JFrame. Ayan. So, we have here public static void main string args. And we import the following. Number one, uh, of course, javax that swing the JFrame. Import din natin dito si jpanel. Okay. Let's also import here the event queue. And lastly, we import border layout. Yan. Si border layout kasi, siya yung magsiserve as, of course, the layouting of our entire board later on. So dito, sa public static void main natin, main method, let's call the event queue dot invoke later. And let's add here a lambda expression and in which I'll instantiate the Tetris method earlier I mean class na ginawa natin which is ito ito gagawin natin pa lang and let's set the visibility as true yan perfect next private j label and let's create here a status bar Tapos, create tayo, create tayo ng constructor in which we'll call initui. So, same same process tayo, no? And, private void initui in which the status bar will actually be a jlabel 0, an initial. Yung scoring nito, eh. Score yan, ha? Okay, tapos ilagay natin si status bar kay JFrame. Pero this time, we have a border layout to south. Again, this is the scoring. Sineset ko yung, yung score niya na part. So initially, the board here, we will be calling the board class later on. New board, tapos reference to itself. Yan. mag error pa yan for now. Let's add the board in our JFrame. Let's set the title as Tetris. Let's set the size as 200 by 400. Pag ganun siya, pa, pa, pa vertical. Set size. We also be setting the default close operation as exit and close. And of course, the location relative to null for now. And so we are now done with our main method, di ba? So madali lang yung main method natin. Basically, siya lang yung magpapagana. So try natin ngayon i-work out si ating board, Java. We already know the purpose of our main method, right? So lagay ko pala muna to dito. Okay. So kay board na tayo. Uh, let's try to work on with the board here. Tanggalin muna natin tong error na nakikita natin sa main natin. Ayan. So, package Tetris game <coughs> public class board. Ayan. So, may error pa yan kasi wala pa tayong constructor 
na nilalagay. So, public board here. And, yan. Something like that. Tapos, dito sa loob, since merong reference to this, tawagin din natin to. Let's call the Tetris, the Java. And let's convert, or let's actually add here a keyword parent as well. So, yun yung gagawin natin. Yan. So, for now, uh, it will produce still produce some error, no? Pero, ayan lang natin yan sa ngayon. Kasi, mawawala din naman yan once na nakapag, uh, or nag-work on na tayo sa lahat ng part natin dito. Ayan. I actually have forgotten here to start. Ayan. Tatawagin ko kasi yung method mamaya dito na start. So, we have the board. We have board. Board equals new board. Add in Tetris. Mamaya, work natin to. Okay. So, dito na tayo. Tignan natin ulit yung module natin kanina. Uh, finally, we have the board that Java file. This is actually where the game logic is located. Take note on that, ha? Lahat ng game logic natin dito mangyayari. We have four different constants. We have four constants based on what you are seeing here. Okay. We have the board width, the board height, and the period interval. It will define the size of the board. The period interval constant defines the speed of the game. So, gawin na muna natin to. Let's try to extend first the board. Extend natin as J panel. Ayan. Of course, we will be importing the following. Import Java set swing the J label. Import for J label is for the text ha so J panel Java set swing the J frame and so public class board extends J panel so nagwala ng error dito yan J J panel J wag natin si J frame pala sorry yan si import java that out that color Tapos si graphics. Tapos si dimension. Kasi ko convert natin yan. Kukunin natin yung dimension ng board mamaya. That out, that event. We have here action event. We have another event here. Which is action listener. We have another event here. Which is key adapter. Tapos we have another event. Which is key event think importante muna import natin yung mga yan next we have the constants okay tong apat na to let's actually add them one by one we have private final int uh, int board underscore width which is set to 10 tama ba yan tapos si height which is Si height naman, board underscore height is equal to 22. Tapos si interval natin, period underscore interval, which is 300. Okay. Yung tatlong yan. 10, 22 and 300. Now, uh, we will we need to initialize some important variables as well. We have here the is falling. It simply determines if the Tetris shape has finished falling and we then create a new shape. The is started is used to check if the game has started. Likewise, the is paused is used to check if the game is paused. The num lines, num lines removed counts, and it counts the number of lines that we have removed so far. The cur x and the cur war determines the actual position of the falling Tetris. And, yan, gawin natin siya muna. Importante na alam natin itong mga ito eh. And, sa module nyo, naka-indicate naman kung para saan yung mga parts na yun, di ba? So, yan, sinulat natin yan para mas maintindihan natin kahit na kung sakaling, kung sakaling hindi man kayo makapanood ng ating conference for today. So, we have here, private, timer, timer, but then, uh, nagkaroon ng error. It's because we have forgotten here to add or import Java set swing, which is timer. Importante yan, no? Gawin natin dito si timer. Now, uh, an additional step here is for us to import 
Ayan. Import natin si Tetris Game. Lahat ng nandito kay Shape for the Tetrominos. Okay. Kukunin natin yan. So, this simply means that we will be using the Tetromino terminology or Tetromino variable as an official variable in this board, the Java. File natin. Diba? So, in-import natin to. Yung Tetris game is actually the name of your package. Shape is the name of the class kung saan ang gagaling si enum natin na Tetromino. So, this served as, again, a variable. Valid or legitimate variable for us to use. So, public board. We have, I mean, dito, private timer. We have private boolean, which is, is falling finished. Let's add an initial value of false. We have private boolean, is paused, goes false. Another private, I mean, yeah, private int, num lines, removed, goes zero. So, initially, Tapos si cur x natin. Oops. Cur x is equal to 0 as well. Tapos si cur y is equal to 0. We should also have here another which is private j label status bar. Tatawagin natin si status bar natin kasi. Eh. Tapos si private shape. Tawagin natin si shape method. I mean shape class. And per piece, tawagin natin si per piece natin. And lastly, si tetromino, tawagin natin si tetromino. Let's add or let's actually put that inside a an array. And let's name that as board. Yeah, and perfect. So everything is perfectly fine so far. Except dito sa main method natin kung saan hindi pa kasi nagpapakita si board. Natin. I mean, si start method natin. Pero mamaya yun, syempre. No? So, punta tayo dito. Now, we have here the square width and the square height. This simply determines the width and the height of a single tetromino square. Okay, so we have to return a specific value in which we'll simply get this, the, the width and the height of the square or the tetrominoes per each. Okay? And we determine the shape at the given coordinates. The shape are stored in the board array as well. Pero before that, gawin muna natin sung si public board. Tawagin natin si init parent. Init parent is actually a, I mean, init board. This is a method in which we'll simply, you know, modify or set the properties of our entire board itself. Yan. So, we have private. Sabihin nyo na kung medyo hindi nyo nakikita ha? Para alam kong i-zoom in ng i-zoom in lang. So, private. Oops. And private void, init board. Gawin natin Tetris. Tapos, let's name that as parent as well. In which we'll simply set the focusable as true. And we will be setting the status bar as a parent. Yan. Kunin natin si get status bar natin later on. Status bar. Yan. Tapos si, si status bar, gawin natin si status bar because actually that's one of the easiest way for us to, you know, to add the scoring, yung scoring system yan. So, gawin natin mamaya yan si si get status bar natin. Kung paano natin siya isisingit dito sa mismong program natin. Okay? So, let's actually go here and create the, what do you call this one? The X and Y, as I have mentioned earlier. ba? Dito. Dun sa module natin. Sa module natin, we have private int square width and private int square height. Tapos si private tetromino shape at. So, yung tatlong yan, importante na ilagay na muna natin sila dito. Ayan. Parent dot get status bar. And there you go. It's okay. Mukhang makawala lang kayo sa umpisa, pero ganyan talaga. Mamaya, tinan nyo. Gagana yan isa-isa. We have to get the square width. We have to get the private int square 
height. Tapos si the trominos naman. Shape at return natin. Ayan. Tapos copy paste lang natin to. Kasi same, same code yan guys. Same code. Okay mag-alala. And nakakopy and paste na yan this time. Para hindi na tayo mahirapan. Okay. So, so far, everything is working. Di ba? Tingnan natin. Eh, review natin maigi. Kahit ako eh, bago ako mag-proceed sa next part ng coding, talagang nire-review ko muna siya kung ano yung pwede nating gawin. Okay? So, what else should I... Hmm. Tingnan ko muna. So far, so good, no? Set focusable, status bar. Okay. So, gawin natin dito si si listener. Yung, kumbaga, pwede na natin mapindot, no? Para wala tayong problema. Although, let's see. Let's check the module first. We will be creating a new current shape and a new board. Uh, ito, mga methods na ito na tatawagin natin. So, mamaya na ito. Mamaya na ito. Isa-isa muna natin siyang gagawin. I actually prefer working working on with of course, yung key listeners natin. Para hindi na ako mahirapan. <laughs> Di ba? So, dito, I added the status bar, which is tama naman. The J-label border, which is south. Add board, board at start. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, lagay na tayo ng key listeners. Hindi ko kasi minention dito yung key list listeners sa module. Pero, usually dito siya sa init board. Pagkatawag mo kay constructor, dito siya pupunta kay init port. Tawagin niya dito yan. So, add key listener new T adapter. Remember? Kung para sa ng T adapter natin, di ba? Siya po ang may pakana ng pagpindot natin. Ng lahat ng pindot-pindot na mangyayari sa program natin. Right? So, let's work on dito sa may pinakababa. We have class T adapter. In which it will simply extends key adapter. And so inside here, uh, we will be having or adding, uh, of course, an overlaid annotation, diba? Overlaid annotation for public void key pressed. Tapos si key event again. Ayan. So, key event E. Natanggal na ba yung error natin dito? Hindi pa. Bakit nga? Hindi pa rin natatanggal yung error natin dito. Tignan ko ha kung bakit. Uh, create class. Create inner class. Ah, double R. Okay. <laughs> Ayun. Tagal na. Now, let's create here. Curve piece. Yung curve piece natin. Kung natatandaan nyo, itong curve piece. Uh, this will actually call the shape. Dito. Sa shape na to. Now, if the curve piece <coughs> that get shape is equivalent to the no shape itself, kung no shape, of course, it will return nothing. Okay? However, if the perform tie dito ng click, if the key code equals e that get key code, na yon. Ah, uh, um, taka malay. Di pa palayan int and if statement mo yan. Saka tayo ngayon papasok sa and if the key code here is equivalent to pause or p di ba uh, key event and then key event that vk underscore p yan so kung p ano yung mangyayari magi tatawagin natin si pause method so si pause method since wala pa i comment line i comment muna natin Otherwise, tawagin natin si kapag ka-left. Sabihin, lahat ng tetromino shape will eventually go to the left. Sabihin, pag, pag left, mag-negative y yan. Diba? So, key code is equal to the key event. So, kung gusto nyo wasad, again, pwede pwede nyo gawin to. So, if right yan, uh, meron tayo ditong method na tatawagin in which we'll simply try the move. Yan, imove kasi natin yung curve piece natin sa loob nito, to curve x, which is yung curve x natin dito, initially, it was set to 0. Diba? 
Pero, mangyayari dyan, mag-minus 1. Yan. So, cur x, cur y. Pero, syempre, for now, let's put a comment sa part na yan. So, right. I think, hindi, left pala to, sorry. Left pala dapat. Ito kasi negative 1 eh. Left is negative 1. Okay. Copy, let's copy this one. If VK underscore right, yan, so ibig sabihin, pumindot ka na ng kanan, tatawagin mo si method na try move, pero this time, magpa plus na siya. Plus 1. If we click on the down naman, if si down naman, ang clinic natin, ibig sabihin, Okay, so pababa, no? Tatawagin natin si try move na method. We will call the try move method and we'll eventually call and we'll eventually call the rotate right. We'll rotate right pababa. Cur x. Pababa na eh. So, pag ganyan siya. Cur x, cur y. Pero again, i-comment out nyo muna to kasi tatawagin natin sila isa-isa later on. So, if the key code here, key event that VK underscore up, on the other hand, left naman. Oops. Tawagin natin to. Try move, rotate, left naman. Okay. So, cur x, cur y. Kapag ka space, ano yung sabi kanina dun sa module natin? Pag space is, the space key will drop the Tetris piece immediately. Immediately to the bottom. So, biglaan, no? Bigla siyang bababa ng paganyan. Okay. So, if the key code, let me copy this. And if VK up, VK underscore space, for example, Ayan, magda-drop down siya. So, tatawagin natin si drop down method later on. Tapos, kapag ka D, ibig sabihin, pag D, one line down lang yan. So, call natin ulit si VK underscore D. Meron ng pause, no? May P, may space, may D. So, this time, tatawagin ko mamaya si one line down na method. I'll name that as one line down method. Ha, huh, so far so good. Okay, so let's go back to our module here. We will be creating a new current shape and a new board. So, balik tayo dito sa may part natin dito. Sa may init board natin. Okay. Hmm. Na, nababahala talaga ako dito sa, <laughs> sa status bar na to. Ah. Sige, mamaya. Ma... Matatraba, tatrabahuin kita mamayang konti pero sige, ngayon na nga lang kung nababahala ako, mas maganda kung gawa na lang ako dito ng separate since this is a this is the board at java in our main method, taas ko lang to ha para mas makita nyo in our main method here kasi parent ito that gets status bar so this simply means kung parent, tatawagin natin si tetris at java this one so, sabihin, we have J label get status bar ayan so dapat mawala ng error na ito no? status bar meron pa rin <laughs> sige ayaw talaga niyang ayaw niya talagang mawala ah hindi small b pala kasi to dapat to is big letter b ayun finally nawala na yung ito yun lang ito lang hindi ko no kasi nakaset siya sa parent eh kahit ako na na nawala yung memory key dito sa part na to eh. Status bar is equal to parent. Pag sabihin, init board in which we'll simply call the Tetris. Correct. So, we still have an error here which is a start in which a separate, okay? This is a separate method that we will be calling inside the Java. I mean, dito sa may board that, that Java natin. Next. Balik tayo ulit sa dito. So, okay na tayo dito sa key adapter. Okay, T adapter, okay na rin. Uh, let's now go ahead and create here the following methods. We have clear board. We have new piece. 
So that can only be possible by simply adding here a method. And natiyatawag natin na start method. Si start method kasi siya yung tatawag niyan. At tong dalawang to. And so we create a new current shape and a new board. Yeah, we have the start method curpies. Yeah, we have the curpies is equal to new shape. Tawagin natin ngayon si si board is equal to new tetromino. Let's now set the width and the height. Oops. And so let's set the width and the height. Let's call the clear board. Clear board method. And see, ano isa? New piece. Method here. And let's set the timer. We create a timer. The timer is executed at a period interval, which is actually, ilan ang period interval natin? 300 milliseconds. Creating a game cycle. Okay. So, timer here is equal to new timer with the period interval. And apparently, tatawagin natin si game cycle, in which is a separate method as well. So, let's start natin si timer natin. So, new game cycle. Ayan. So far, no? Okay natin, no? Wala, wala namang nagiging problema sa output natin. Dito sa may mismong, sa may mismong program na ginagawa natin. So, new clear board, new piece. Kung i-run kasi natin yan, event, syempre wala pang magpapakita kasi wala pa tayo nung, remember, we still have to add the paint component, diba? The do drawing. Diba? So, talaga hindi pa yung gagana. And wala rin si game cycle. And so, syempre, sinecheck ko lang kung may error pa aside dito kay game cycle. Tignan natin. Clear board, and Tapos si, syempre, ito itong mga to mag error pa yan. Sige, gawin na natin yung part na yun. Yan. So, the, this pause method here, yan, pauses or resumes the game when the game is paused. We display the pause message in the status bar. And, yan. So, dito. Uh, I think it's safe since we created the start method here. Ga, tanggalin ko muna tong si game cycle natin na error. Yeah. Para... Para hindi tayo mahirapan. Okay? Para hindi tayo mahirapan na mag-ano dito. Mag... Mag-set. We have here private class. Game cycle. Yan. In which we will be implementing a an action listener. Yan. So, syempre may error pa yan, pa yan for now. Kasi wala pa yung action listener natin dito. So... If that's the case, we have to override a public void action performed action event oops, event E and okay, mamaya ka tapos dito may gagawin din tayo dito later on so, balik tayo dito kay void start. Let's create here a void pause. Diba? So, pwede natin tawagin mamaya itong si pause. Ayan. So, void pause. Private void pause. Private void pause. Ayan. So, nawala yung error dito. This is still having an error. Mamaya natin trabawin yan. Pause is, if the game is paused, not pause, for example. So, ibig sabihin, if the game is still running, and if it is paused, ibig sabihin, nag, nag true yung value nito, lagay natin kay status bar, sa text natin, as paused. Ayan, set text at pause. Otherwise, status bar, 
dito natin ilalagay yung number ng lines na na-remove na, na. Oops. String that value of the number of lines removed. Okay. So, so far so good. I am actually... I'm good with this one. Pasok na lang siguro tayo dito kay... kay... itong timer na to. Diba? So, so far, game cycle, okay lang yan. Next. Yan, we have here the do drawing in which gagawin na natin in the next part. Okay. So, we have the pause. We have here the override annotation for the paint component, public void paint component. Yan, graphics key. Remember, di ba? Tatawagin natin lahat ng components ni graphics. And we will call the do drawing method. So, dito na, dito na mag-uumpisa yung paglagay natin ng mga tetrominoes. So, we have private void do drawing graphics G. Yan. So, nawala yung error, no? Tanggalin ko nga muna ito. Okay lang yan kahit mawala pa yung ano. Mawala yung kahit may error pa yan. Is post not equal not equal dapat ito. Yan. Not equal to post equals not ganyan na lang. Equals not is post. So, magiging true. And sorry ha. Naayos ko lang ito. Medyo magulo ko dyan sa part na yan. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Next. Meron tayong do drawing dito. Ah, uh, si do drawing. Yan, this one. In the do drawing, we draw all the objects on the board. The painting has two steps. In the first step, we paint all the shapes or remains of the shapes that have not, that have been dropped to the bottom of the board. All the squares are remembered in the board array, and we access it using the shape at method. In the second step, we paint the actual falling piece. Ito yun. Yan. If we press, press the select, the space key in which mag-drop down yun mamaya. Mamaya natin gagawin yan. Ito munang si do drawing ang trabohin natin. So we have here, once again, two different steps. So para mas safe, copy na lang natin yan. Copy din natin itong second part na to. So the, si do drawing... We have here dimension. Kunin natin yung dimension. Get size. Yan. Tapos si int board top. Ito pinakataas. Kukunin natin si int. The size. The height. Minus the board height. Multiplied by the square height. Ayan. So let's do the first part here. Itong drawing ng object. Pwede natin itong i-copy and paste na lang. Diba? And so, sinapipaste ko yun sa so, dalawa siyang for loop, no? Tapos inside the, the inner for loop, meron din tayong if statement dito na if the shape is actually not equal to the tetromino shape, meaning the other shapes na inintroduce natin dito kanina, and it will always generate a new shape and will eventually, you know, draw those shapes individually. Next is this one. The curve piece. And so, dito tayo. Okay. Kailangan natin magcopy-paste ng ibang part kasi mahaba talaga tong part na to. Hindi tayo matatapos. So, for... Okay, so far, so good. Ayan. Now, uh, if we press the space key, again, the piece is dropped to the bottom. And we simply try to drop the piece one line down until it reaches the bottom or the top of another fallen Tetris piece. When the Tetris piece finishes falling, the piece dropped is called. So we have here uh, three different methods to create. We click on space. Diba? We click on space. We call drop down. Kapag uh, nagpunta yan sa dropdown, yan, tatawagin din natin itong si, I mean, pinindot natin itong si D, pupunta yan dito kay one line down. Yan. And once na na-reach niya na yung bottom, yan, when the Tetris piece finishes falling, the piece drop method is actually called as well. Itong piece drop nito. So, gawin natin yan. Yung tatlong yan. 
So we are done with the do drawing method. Let's now create the private void drop down. And so private void drop down in which we'll simply call here in isa isa. So pagkapinindot ko si space biglaan. So that is possible by using a while loop y eh, kasi y pababayan. For as long as si y is greater than 0, nasa taas pa. Yan. And if I tawagin natin si try move. Siya yung pag move ha. Itong si try move, siya po yung magmo-move ng piece individually. So we have new y minus 1. Eventually magbe-break yan. Tapos new y minus minus. So new y minus minus. Tawagin din natin si piece dropped na method. So if not try move Try move siya yung magbababa ha. Again, siya yung magbababa. So, I think it's necessary muna sa akin na gawin si try move, no? Para at least mawala na yung error natin kay, kay try move. Or gawin muna natin yung lahat ng methods. I think mas safe gawin ko muna lahat ng methods. Uh, sige, mas maganda nga. Gawin ko muna lahat ng methods. So, we have drop down. We have one line down. Okay. We have private void one line down. Yan. Si one line down, madali lang yan eh. Kasi ang purpose yan, isa-isa mo siyang idadrop. One, minus one lang yan na, na pixel. Minus one. D. Kumbaga, di ba? So, ito rin kasi tatawagin natin si try move eh. Na method in which we'll simply move the piece one by one. Oops. Cur X. Tapos cur Y. Minus one. Tatawagin lang natin siya isa-isa. Pag ganyan lang yan. Tapos... Ayan. Peace drop. Tatawagin din natin si peace drop na ngayon. Now, if na-reach niya yung, yung part in which uh, equal sila. Okay? Equal sila ng, ng shape sa lahat. Sa pinakababa. Magkakaroon tayo ng piece ng, ano, ng clear board. Ayan tawag natin na method. Tama ba yung ano, clear board? Ayan. The clear board method fills the board with empty tetromino shape. This is later used at the collision detection. Mamaya yan. So, we have the drop down, one line down. We also have here the clear, clear board. Alright, so let's actually work on with the clear board. Now, si clear board, again, uh, diba? Ang purpose neto is to simply clear the board and so in we have here for loop in which we'll simply call the i0 i board height kasi i-delete niya eh. so kung i-delete niyan tatawagin ko lahat ng components ng board natin isa-isa using for loop Ayan. Tapos, lagay tayo dito ng tetromino that no shape. So, yun yung idea nun eh. Kapag ka magkiklear tayo ng board, tinatawag mo lang talaga si no shape. As simple as that. Okay? For the piece drop, ayan, the piece drop method actually puts the falling piece into the board array. And once again, the board holds all the squares of the pieces and remains of the pieces that has finished falling. When the piece has finished falling, it is time to check if we can remove some of the lines of the board. This is the job of the remove full lines method. And then we create a new piece or more precisely, we try to create a new piece as well. So, meron tayo ditong new piece, di ba? So, kapag ka na-drop mo na yung piece, magpapakita ulit yung panibago piece, tatawagin natin itong method na to. Yan. So, private void. Clear, I mean, piece. Piece drop. Okay. So, isa-isay natin yan, no? So, so piece drop.
Actually, we can simply copy and paste this part na lang din para kasi malapit na rin yung time natin. Eh. Peace drop. Copy. Ayan. And paste dito sa part na to. So, for every lines, yan, magpapakita ulit yung panibagong shape natin. Tawag tayo ng panibagong shape. If it is not yet done falling, yan, or if it is done falling, ibig sabihin mag-generate tayo ng panibagong piece dito. Okay. So, so, so far, so good. And we will be calling the removal lines as well. So, we have the new piece muna pagka natapos ng bumaba di ba so kapag natapos ng bumaba yan we have private void new piece generate natin ulit ng panibagong panibagong piece yan so we have set piece set random shape depende kung ano yung tatawagin niya di ba the position the initial position is of course in the middle Si cur y, ganun din. Board height, minus 1, plus cur, piece, minimum y. Tawagin natin. So, nasa middle ng board width, tapos yung height niya nandito, sa, nandito sa part na to, pababa. Okay. If it is not moving, yan. Cur piece, cur x, cur y. What will happen? Si curve piece, that set shape. Yan. I-ano natin kay no shape. Tawagin natin si no shape na yun. Tapos, timer that stop. Oops. This, is, this should be stop. Yan. And, let's put here a message. So, kapag ka hindi niya na pagka, pagka ubos na, ibig sabihin, pag narating niya na yung pinaka top, String that format. Lagay tayo dito ng message na game over score. Let's create or let's simply reference to the score. Num lines removed. Let's set that. Let's that. Let I me mean, let's set that to the status bar. And your message mismo. So new piece. And that, so I think we are now ready to create the try move. The try move method here is actually somehow uh, it's challenging to to implement. Kasi nga ang ang purpose lang natin dito is once nag move yung yung piece natin from left to right, right to left, or from top to bottom, it will always return a specific okay a specific boolean value which is true or false. So it tries to move the Tetris piece. The method returns false if it has reached the board boundaries. Or, it is adjacent to the already fallen Tetris pieces. Kapag kadumikit na siya dun sa mismong Tetris piece natin. So, gawin natin yan. We have private, uh, boolean, try move. Diba? Try move. We will be calling the shape. Yan, yung magpapagalaw niyan kasi. Nala. I'll call the new piece. Tapos si, tawagin ko rin si new x. Int. New Y. Tapos, let's simply copy and paste this one. Para. This is actually built-in algorithms na rin ng Tetris. Eh. Ayan. So, we have... Ayan, repaint natin. Okay, so far so good, no? Uh, hindi pa yung gagana guys. Wala pa yan. So, pero i, pwede na natin i-uncomment tong mga to. Para gumalaw na sila. Kapag ka pinindot natin yung mga lahat. Okay. So far. So far. Return true. Great. Next is for us to remove the lines. Dito. ba Once na nag, naging nakompleto yung isang buong board natin sa baba. Ayan, mag remove tayo ng full lines naman. So, we have here, private void, remove full lines, and for the number of lines here, 
we can just simply it's it's safe na ikapin natin tong yung for loop. So pero meron tayo ditong num full lines equal 0. So dito yung scoring guys ha. Dito mag dito mangyayari yung yung scoring natin. Yan. Num full lines is equal to 0. So siya po yung nag-hold ng ng number ng full lines natin. So we have here a for loop int i is equal to kapag ka na-reach na yung board height minus 1 tapos given by this one minus minus for int i lagay tayo dito ng boolean the line is full equals true line is full, full is true another for loop here in which we'll simply check if the line is full <clears throat> j board width j plus plus tawagin natin si shape at if the shape at j and i is actually equal to the tetromino that no shape Meaning, the line is full, is automatically false, and will eventually get out of the loop. Okay? So, kung, kung hindi siya, kung, kung, hindi, kung equal siya sa no shape, ibig sabihin, natapos na. Yan. Aalis na siya dito sa loop na to. Otherwise, if, nandito siya sa pangalawang for loop. If the line is full, yan. If this is true, maglagay tayo ng scoring dito. Dito yung scoring system, ha? And, and we can just simply copy and paste this one. And so, ito yung scoring. Babalik ulit sa pinakaumpisa. Matatanggal lahat ng lines natin. By the way, hindi naman ako maglalagay ng animation for the removing of lines. In other Tetris games, di ba, once na nag-remove yung lines, nagkakaroon ng animation. Well, in this case, don't worry. Wala naman tayong i-implement na ganun. Okay. So, next, if, uh, for instance, nandito na tayo sa may labas ng for loop natin, dito, if the number of full lines is greater than 0, therefore, number of full lines, number of lines removed pala, number of lines removed, is equal to added to num full lines. Yan. Dagdagan siya. <clears throat> Lagyan natin yun ngayon sa status bar. That set text. String. That value of. Num. Lines removed. So kung ilan na yung number na na. na I mean lines na na-remove na niya. Is falling finished. Of course. Tapos na. Diba? Saka ngayon papasok kay Kirby's. In which we'll set the shape as tetromino that no shape. So, tatawagin natin si no shape na yan. Yan, easy. One, two. So far, so good. Next part of the code here is the game cycle. Diba? Tapos meron din tayo ditong do game cycle in which we'll simply call the update method and we'll simply repaint the entire thing here. Pero, uh, kahit na meron na kasi itong si game cycle, we are actually still missing one specific thing to do. In Ang gusto natin mangyari dito is actually to paint everything. In this case, wala pa tayong hindi pa natin na-design si, si Tetris natin. Wala pang design si Tetris na set lang natin talaga si si coordinates niya, na set lang natin yung movement niya, na set lang natin yung rotation, pero hindi pa talaga natin na fill rec. Hindi pa talaga natin siya na drawing sa mismong program natin. Yun yung kulang natin dito eh. Uh, kung napapansin nyo itong tetrominoes na to, it also has an effect in which para siyang 3D. ba So, apparently mag, mag, maglalagay tayo dito ng parang 3D, 3D-ish effect sa mismo ano natin. Okay? So, mamaya natin Mamaya natin gagawin itong part na to, itong mga, so madali na to eh, itong game cycle na to. Uh, important, to, let's call the draw square. Yan. Si draw square, 
Natawag ba natin siya kanina dito? Ay, loob na to. So, sa loob ni Do Drawing, take note, di ba? Tinawag natin si Draw Square Method dito. So, si Do Drawing Method, tinawag natin kay Paint Component. Once na nag yung program, this will actually automatically be executed as well. And eventually, pagka no shape yan, pupuntahin dito sa Draw Square na to. So, ito yung may pakinabang or ito yung may paki dun sa pag-color ng shapes natin. Okay? So, let's put here graphics G, int X, int Y, tapos yung kung ano man yung shape na gusto nating i-drawin. Okay? Let's set the color here. Yung color, uh, may prepare na rin ako dito. Basically, ito yung colors ng tatay shapes natin. So, just simply copy and paste that, them. New color. Yan. So, we have first, madaming colors yan eh. Oh. Diba? So, randomly mag-regenerate to kasi eh. So, we have color, color is equal to colors dot shape shape that ordinal ayan ayan so set natin si color ayan g that set color lagyan natin kay color tapos fill rec na tayo ayan fill rec na natin ng x plus 1 lahat na ng rectangle natin square oops square width ayan square width minus 2 square height minus 2 so fill rec lang fill rec lang natin siya isa isa let's also set the color into much brighter color that brighter tapos gawa tayo ng draw line dito yan for the draw line we have the x and y value together with the square height minus 1 comma x y and draw line square height minus 1 x y we have draw line another draw line here x and y value naman ito tapos square width minus 1 x and y nag draw line tayo to create the 3d effect nung mismo ano natin okay so g that draw line x y plus square height this should be plus Yeah. This should be plus. Then we have another set of color here. And set color, color that darker this time. Para mag-create lang siya ng 3D-ish effect. We have draw line as well. Uh, X plus 1 this time. Y plus square height. Minus 1. X plus square width. Minus 1 y plus square height minus 1 dami ano so siniset lang natin yung mga parameters ni draw line dyan nag-draw lang tayo basically ng line pag aralan natin kung paano tong, tong draw line na to no? so we have two different points and their coordinates as well so draw line and square height minus 1 square width minus 1 square height Minus 1. And another. This time, x plus square width minus 1. Y plus square height minus 1. Oops. Comma. X plus square width minus 1. Y plus 1. So, pinaliktad ko lang, no? Pinaliktad ko lang yung pagkakaset ko. Y plus 1. So far, yan. Mag sure na yan. Magdodrawing na ng, ng colors yan sa may mismong program natin. Okay. Confident na ako sa part na yan. So, dito na tayo sa my private void. Ano to? Bakit tayo nasa loob ng isang method? Saan nang galing to? <laughs> teka, teka, teka. Saan nang galing tong method? I mean, curly braces na to? 
gusto kong malaman. Baka kasi sumobra lang pala eh. So, this private void here, and, ah, okay. Kung meron tayong magiging error man dito, parser na siguro. Yan, so far, okay naman yung class, nandito lang. O, ba diba, kahit ako nagtataka kung bakit sa nanggaling yung, yung curly braces na yun. Pero don't worry, it's normal. Kapag nagko-code ka, ganyan talaga. However, may error dito. yon yung game cycle na yan. So, sa game cycle na yan, dito na yung part kung saan trabohin na talaga natin si game cycle, no? Uh, still, it, it still produces an error sa may end natin. Tinanggal ko pala, no? Yung game cycle natin dito. So, i-work on natin yan dito after ng private class natin. So, we have private class game cycle implements action listener kung saan i-overwrite natin si public void action performed ulit uh, action event e diba? tapos do tawagin natin si game cycle now uh, the game cycle here okay we call the do game cycle method creating a game cycle this game is actually divided into game cycle and each cycle updates the game and redraw the entire board itself so, sa loob pala nitong ni game cycle, we have a private void do game cycle in which we'll simply call an update method. Siya yung magdodrawing and repaint method every now and then. So, public, I mean private void update method. Tawagin natin si update method. If the game is paused, Let's do nothing. Diba? Let's let's return nothing. If the game is actually falling finished, sabihin, is falling finished is equal to true. Or, hindi. Kasi tapos na eh. So, magiging false pala ulit. Eh. Tama. It is paused. It's falling finished. Let's call a new piece. Yan. Otherwise, tawagin natin si one line down. Yan, nakompleto na, no? Nakompleto na yung, yung game cycle natin. Nasaan yung game cycle error natin kanina? Nawala na siya. Kasi meron na siyang update method. Yan, meron na rin siyang repaint method. So, everything is actually working. And I can, I can finally sense na tapos na yung part ng coding natin dito. Eh. Although, Makikita natin kung saan tayo medyo nagkulang once we run the program. So, gamit tong mga key events natin ha, we have P, left, right. So, left and right, working. Okay, how about the rotate? Ayan, ang rotate up and down. Ayan o. Diba? Up and down ng rotate. Ayan. Kapag ka pinindot natin si D, yan ang D kasi mag isa-isa niyang i one line kubaga ang pag down niyan ayan ah. tapos try natin kay space kung gagana si space uh, are these programs already threaded no not yet ma medyo mahirap implement ang threads eh kaya talagang nag hard code muna tayo for you know for using the swing methods Hindi tayo nag-threads in total talaga. So, yan. Nag-work na to. Medyo advanced ang threading. Mas advanced yun actually. Although, mas marami kang magagawang games kapag ka nag-threads ka na. Yan. Uh, tignan natin kung gagana yung scoring system natin dito. Ah. Wait lang. Ito. Ayun, gumana, no? So, therefore, working ang scoring natin kapag ka may nag-remove na lines, automatic din na nagkakaroon ng score. So, tapusin natin yung game. Ayun. Game over, yung score natin is 4. So, everything is working perfectly fine, no? Review natin ulit yung code natin, isa-isa. Uh, Trabawin natin si Tetris at Java. So, if in case na may nakalimutan kayong part dyan, makikita nyo naman ulit siya dito sa may code natin. Okay, so kindly take a screenshot of this one.
Next. Dito sa my shape that Java muna tayo. Yan. Will this be posted on YouTube? Yes, yes. Need natin to i-post para mabalikan niyo ulit. Sakali, you know, kasi may hinahabol tayong oras kaya kailangan ko bilisan talagang mag mag-discuss nito. Okay. Next part dito. Mas malinaw kasi ang quality no pag sa YouTube kaysa pag naka-live stream tayo. And lastly, dito sa part na to. Okay, board at Java. And see start and pause. Paint component and do drawing. Modification of colors ng alen. Ah, uh, I think no need na kasi the colors are actually built in. Diba? Pero if you want to play around with the colors itself, tinuro ko na yun before actually kung paano mag-set ng different colors using RGB values. Diba? So, punta tayo. Antay natin yung part na nandito na tayo sa may part ng colors. Ito. So, this is actually a built-in colors pero pwede, pwede nyo naman siyang i-change. Ayan, no? So, pwede nyo siyang i-change. Automatic din namang mag-change yung value ni the color dito based from the RGB values itself. Can we use gradients? Actually, yes. Pwede, pwede kayong mag-gradients para mas magandang itsura, no? Yeah, pwede. Pwede. Parang yung ginawa natin kung natatandaan yung discussion natin ng gradients before sa may Java 2D natin na midterms. Kumamit tayo ng gradients doon. Yes, dito lang yan. Imo-modify nyo to. Ibig sabihin, two different colors ang pwede nyo nang magawa isang gradient. And sa so game cycle. By the way, this is actually a code na pinadali na to eh. Uh, some of the algorithms here was built in already. Diba? So, ibig sabihin, nagawa na siya. Kaya, kung napansin nyo, nag-copy-paste tayo ng ibang parts ng code dito. Kasi, you know, every time na nire-recreate si Tetris, same algorithm lang din talaga ang ginagamit from you know from start to finish so if you are planning to recreate the tetris game using your own version or using your own modifications and added or would you like to add some mecha mechanics madadali madadali na kay dito kasi yung algorithm especially yung sa sa movement pa lang napakadali na ba diba? 